Okay guys, so we are going to start CCNP Enterprise. Okay, before going to discuss CCNP Enterprise, let me tell you something. Uh, you know, before February last year, okay, 2020, so it was three paper, you know, you need to take a three paper route, switch and t-shoot to become CCNP uh, routing and switching certified. You need to take three exam but after february 2020 uh, cisco change everything and they change the name and give us ccnp enterprise now in the new exam you need to take one core exam which is 350401 with n core the one which we are now starting okay uh, cisco enterprise network core technology and this is compulsory and also the same exam is for CCI written as well. This exam 350401. Now after that you need to concentration exam. One of them you need to pass. It means you need to pass two exam to become CCNP enterprise. These are the other exam. After that we are gonna start this one NRC. But you can do this one. SD WAN, you have the other one, wireless one, and so many other. So you have many options. You can do only one of them. If you want, you can do two, three as well. But to become CCNP Enterprise certified, you need to pass two exam. One core exam, and the other one is any of these. Okay. So it means before February, uh, the, 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 these were the track. CCNP Cloud, CCNP Collaboration, CCNP Data Center, CCDP and CCNP Routing and Switching, CCNP Security, CCNP Service Provider and CCNP Wireless before February last year. So what Cisco done, they combine these four exam, Cloud, CCDP which is design one, CCNP Routing and Switching and CCNP Wireless and they make them a new exam in with the name CCNP Enterprise. So th these are the new tracks. There is CCNP collaboration still there. CCNP data center, CCNP security, they change as well this one. Now you need to pass two exam. And CCNP service provider. Okay. So we are going to cover in this paper Cisco Enterprise Network Core Technology 350401 which the code every exam has a unique code cisco it's like a fruit chart you know this core exam many things are there means you're gonna cover architecture related designing etc because they combine four paper the old one with the new one and also they add many things 15 percent is architecture which is sd van sd access and so many other stuff quality of services and make addresses etc virtualization so many things are from virtualization as well infrastructure okay and wireless technology we're gonna cover many topic related to wireless network assurance and security as well automation and so many other things are there in this course outline which we will cover okay in this exam now you don't need any prerequisite before CCNP routing and switching before February this one there was prerequisite CCNA valid Cisco CCNA routing and switching certification or any Cisco any other certification it was a prerequisite for CCNP routing and switching before February but now in this new exam you do, you don't need to do anything even you can directly start from CCNP. There is no formal prerequisite for CCNP enterprise. Means if you haven't done CCNA, it's okay. Because CCNA we will already cover in this exam. If you go to the new CCNA exam, it's already covered in this course. So no need of CCNA. In case some of you, I know most of them are my old student. They already done many certification already. But those who are new, so don't need to worry about anything. We're going to cover CCNA as well in this course. Okay, this is the new thing. 
which you don't need any CCNA, any prerequisite. You just need to pass two exams to become CCNP enterprise. Now many students are worried that the exam gonna be difficult, so no, it's only MCQs, <clears throat> multiple choice question. And core exam, you gonna get 100 uh, MCQs. And exam fees is 400 US dollar. Okay, the core exam, which we are doing now this one. So core exam, uh, you will get uh, 100 MCQs, 120 minute exam. Okay, but for non-English speaker, you will get uh, another extra 30 minute. So almost you have two more than two hour to uh, just MCQs. Normally student pass in 20 minutes, you know, it's very easy. That's the core exam. Then the concentration exam is 50 question. This one, any of these exam like in uh, NRC. So you will get 50 MCQs. So there is no lab, no uh, drag. Uh, yeah, you will get two, three drag, drag and drop as well, by the way. Most of them are MCQs, but uh, you're gonna uh, get two, three uh, drag and drop as well. There is no lab, no simulation, no nothing in any exam of these. Okay, that's clear now. Let's go there. So uh, you will get 100 question and uh, there's two, uh, more, more than two hour exam. And you need to pass two exam to become CCNP enterprise. Okay, one thing more. If you pass this exam, you will get certificate by the way. <clears throat> and if you pass any of these exam, again, you will get another certificate. So altogether, you will get three certification, uh, three certificate end of the day. But if you want to become CCNP enterprise, you need to pass two exam, the score exam and one of these. Okay. So I already told you, I just written here what you're going to cover and what is and how is the exam and there is MCQs, multiple choice questions, single choice question and 100 MCQs you will get and more than two hour an exam price is 400 and you can take the exam from home as well. You just need a webcam and mic. No need to go to any center. So it's also a good thing to book your exam uh, in Pearson view. You can book your exam and you can take this exam easily. Okay. So this was the uh, introduction to this course. So before it was CCNP routing and switching. Now they changed the name to CCNP enterprise. Uh, they collaborate these four uh, tracks to make them as a CCNP enterprise. And one of them, the first one is core one which we gonna cover and start this one and core, which we call them and core enterprise network core technology, which cover many things. Okay.